Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're gonna talk about seven financing. You definitely wanna watch this entire video because it will be value packed. I'm gonna to talk to you about how to actually get approved for business financing. We're gonna talk about different types of financing and what you actually need to have beforehand before you apply for financing. So you gotta watch this video even if you have to save the video and come back to it at a later date because it will be over 20 minutes long. And also I'm gonna talk to you about how you can get help with getting business credit even if you have bad personal credit. We are helping people get approved for loans and business credits. We have ways of helping you to get that. If you have good personal credit, we can help you get business credit or loans and if you have bad personal credit we also have a system that is going to help you build business credit so you got to watch this video because it is a very very valuable video so let's get started types of business funding so we have credit lines most business owners want access to credit lines they are also one of the hardest types of financing to qualify for to get approved for real credit lines you must apply business financials in almost all cases. Financials include your business tax returns for two to three years. You might also be asked for a P&L statement, both current and projected. So a P&L statement is a profit and loss statement, and they will probably ask you to provide past ones and projected ones for both current and projected. So it's all gonna depend on the lender. Some will also ask for bank statements, a business plan, and more. Also, your approval amount will be based upon the profits you show on your returns. Your tax returns also should show that you have increasing profits. Your personal and business credit will be reviewed. Both should be good to get approved. Lenders like to see that you have open credit lines with very high limits. Approval amounts might also be linked to your current existing limits. Business loans are available at a lot of places, including SBA loans offered by conventional banks, such as Bank of America, Chase, etc. Many lenders also provide business loans, and some other types of collateral-based financing also offer loans, such as book of business financing or insurance agents. Many loans are shorter term, usually three to five years. Others might go as long as 20 years or longer. Rates vary based on risk with some being 2% over prime rate and others being as high as 10%. To get long-term loans, you will almost always need financials, in many cases collateral. So now let's talk about advances. So they have merchant advance and revenue advance types of loans. So merchant and revenue advances are becoming increasingly common in the business funding arena. These are just like cash advances in the consumer world. They are much easier to secure than loans and credit lines. In most cases, you can get approved with no business financials being provided, including no tax returns. Advances usually close very fast within a week when loans and credit lines take 30 to 90 days to close. The terms aren't as favorable on advances, but the scope of who qualifies is very broad. There are many types of credit cards you can secure in the business funding world. So most of these credit cards work exactly as consumer credit cards do, but with additional benefits. The provided benefits depend on the type of cards you get. So they have something called no PG, business credit cards. You can get credit cards for your business through Visa and MasterCard that you can use almost anywhere for almost any purpose. These cards are secured by you having a good business credit report and score. You usually need 10 accounts reporting and a paydex score of 80 or higher to be approved. So no PG business credit cards mean no personal guarantee, which means you do not have to use your personal credit to get approved. Now there are some business credit cards that will allow you to use your personal credit to your advantage to get business credit. But there are also business credit cards that do not require you to use your personal credit and you can only use your EIN number so that they can look at your business credit and also your DUNS number. 
So you need to have at least 10 accounts reporting. Keep that in mind. A lot of people try to apply for business credit and they don't have any business credit built up. They don't have any vendor accounts, any trade lines on their business credit reports and they have bad personal credit. So if you have neither of those two things, either good personal credit or good business credit, you're not gonna be able to get a business credit card. These card limits will mimic your current highest business credit card. No personal guarantee from you is required. Okay, so let's talk about unsecured business credit cards with a PG, which is personal guarantee. You can use your personal credit to get approved for real business credit cards instead of using your business credit. These accounts will require you to provide a personal guarantee. So a lot of people use this type of credit card if they have great personal credit, especially if they're starting off a business and they need funding to start that business. To get approved, you must have very good, nearly flawless personal credit with fewer than four inquiries in the last six months. And the utilization has to be below 40%. Really, you wanna be below 30%. You can typically get five times the amount of credits of your highest limit reporting card right now. So this will come in the form of five separate cards. These cards usually only report to the business reporting agencies and offer intro rates of 0% for six to 18 months. So again, if you need help with getting business credit, if you have good personal credit, we can help you get business credit right away very quickly I won't say right away but very quickly if you have bad personal credit and you want to start building up business credit from scratch we can help you build up business credit from scratch while you're fixing your personal credit and you can start getting credit to help fund your business to help you buy equipment and all of that we can also help you do that as well so links for that will be in the description Okay, so now we're gonna talk about applying for business funding. These secrets can help you on your application. This is what you need to know in order to fill out the application. So you need to have your company name and you need to have that as generic as possible because you don't wanna be tied to a specific industry that you're not even a part of or a specific industry that you may even be a part of but it may be like on the restricted list for that lender. So there are a lot of industries that fall on the restricted list. Your name can allude to an industry you may be in or that you may be a part of or that you may not even be a part of. So keep it as general as possible. This can affect your ability to get approved. For example, the name Elite Credit got a bank account shut down just because the lender thought that it was a credit repair company which is on their restricted list any other industry specific name very well might restrict your ability to get money with some lending sources and credit issuers elite consulting would be a better choice because it's more general something like elite credit kind of puts you in a specific industry that is restricted the more generic the business name the better your chances of getting money so when it comes to your phone number, you need to have a business phone, not a home phone number, not your personal number. Do not put your personal cell phone number on the application. You need to have a business phone number. And yes, the lenders will know. They will be able to find out if you are using a cell phone number, a home phone number, or a real business phone number. So don't even try applying for money without a real business phone. Voice over IP numbers are okay. You should have a toll-free number unless you deal with local business, such as a pizza shop. Your number must be listed with 411. Try using listyourself.net for a 411 listing. Okay, so let's talk about home ownership. If you are a homeowner, you have an advantage. Being a homeowner increases your chances of being approved. It shows a greater level of maturity and responsibility. Plus, it shows you can manage a higher monthly payment. And your home might even be used as collateral for some financing such as SBA loans. Now let's talk about assets. Lenders love assets because they love collateral. So when you are asked 
on an application about the assets you have, what the lender is really looking for is what you can use as collateral for the debt. The more collateral you have, the better chances you have of being approved with many types of financing. SBA loans require the lenders to take all assets you have in your business as collateral. And if there is still not enough, they will take personal assets like your home as collateral. You can use your home as collateral as well. Some lenders such as advanced lenders don't need collateral like what we talked about earlier. They only look at your revenue for you to be able to get approved for funding. It still helps them feel more secure lending you money if you do have assets to show. Many things can work as collateral such as 401k and stocks, real estate, inventory and equipment, purchase orders and receivables, and other items that are easy for lenders to sell and get their money back in case of default. Okay, so time in business. The longer you are in the business, the better your chances of getting approved for almost all types of funding are. This is because extensive statistics on this show that the majority of businesses fail in the early years, three years or less on being open. So if your business is older than three years old, you have higher chances of getting approved. The longer a business is open, the more their chances are of failing actually decline. So newer businesses have a harder time getting approved than longer standing businesses. Being open less than one year makes it tough to get financing, but there are ways to get money as a startup. You can get unsecured personal and business cards with no issues, but advances are tougher and loans are nearly impossible to get. Some business credit vendors, stores, and crash or cash credit sources also might not approve you if you have been open for a one year or less. Three or more years is more of what they're looking for. This is part of the reason that SBA loans require two to three years of financials. So average revenue. Having a good stable revenue can be one of the main reasons you get approved for some funding products such as merchant or revenue advances. Just having consistent revenue alone can get you approved, but almost all sources require that you have revenues coming in for approval. Some sources like personal and business cards won't require verification. Other sources like lenders will verify your cash flow with your bank statements before they provide advances. Most lenders issuing loans and credit lines will require tax returns on top of P&L statements and bank statements to verify your income. Your tax returns must show good profits and the amount you show will determine the amount of money you are approved for. You must show increasing profits from year to year, not declining profits. Declining profits are a sign of trouble and most lenders will run away from a deal where the applicant has revenue or profits declining from year to year. So let's talk about industries really quickly. There are many high risk industries lenders don't prefer. The list of high risk industries is different for each lender and funding type. Some lenders have been burned by one type of industry and have blacklisted it. While other lenders with the same type of product or similar products are okay with that industry. So each lender has its own blacklist or own list of industries that they do not work with so it's important to know what those industries are and we actually help you with that we know a lot of lenders and what their actual requirements are so it's easy for us to match you up with lenders based upon a lot of factors based upon the different information that you give us so that we can help you find loans lines of credit and things like that for your business we have business advisors and a finance team that helps you get loans and build business credit as well. Some industries are almost always seen as high risk no matter what lender you apply through. Vices are almost always seen as high risk such as gambling and the adult industry. I'm not gonna say the word because ain't trying to get yellow mark. Other industries such as Financial services are restricted with many lending sources, but not all. 
Financial services can include credit repair, lenders, accountants, insurance agents, mortgage brokers, realtors, and anyone else dealing with any type of financial transaction. Always ask upfront if the lender views your industry as high risk. Okay, so personal credit scores. No matter what you are told, personal credit always matters unless it isn't being looked at. For example, when applying for business credit, you can use your EIN to get approved and leave your SSN off the application. Some of y'all didn't know that. Y'all always ask, how can you get business credit when they ask for your EIN and social security number? Well, a lot of those applications you can leave off your social security number so they only look at your EIN and your business credit that is attached to your EIN. When you do this, your personal credit isn't even looked at, nor is it used for the lending decision. But this is about the only exception in the business funding space. Okay, so let's talk about personal credit scores. This is very important. So all other funding types, including advances, look at and care about your personal credit. Yes, you can get approved for cash flow financing and merchant advances with bad credit, but your repayment terms won't be nearly as favorable as someone with good personal credit. SBA loans, conventional loans, and most other long-term loans and credit lines do require good personal credit for approval in most cases. Collateral and asset type funding doesn't care about personal credit as much. This finance product only looks at collateral for approval. So this is not the same as financing where collateral is required for approval. This is only collateral and asset based financing. Those types of financing, they don't care about your personal credit. They're really more interested in your assets and your collateral. But there are other types of financing that require you to actually have collateral. And those type of financing products do require you to have good personal credit as well. Business credit scores. So there is no FCRA in the business world. So lenders will never disclose to you that they pull your business credit when they apply for your business financing. But they will pull your business credit. Just think. You are applying for money for your business and your business has its own credit profile and scores so they're going to look at it. So of course they will want to see how your business pays its bills on top of how the owner pays their personal bills. Not having established business credit makes you look like a rookie, a startup, and a non-established business. This will lead to denial. So it's good to have personal credit and business credit. So ensure you have at least five to 10 reported accounts and that you are paying them as agreed. So bank credit, you have three types of credit, personal credit, business credit, and bank credit. All three should be in good standing for higher chances of approval. Your bank rating is mostly based on the amount of money you keep in your bank account over the last 90 days. A high five is when you have an account balance of 70 to 99,000. Mid five is account balance of 40 to 69,000. A low five is a balance of 10 to 39,000. A high four is seven to 9,000. Mid four is four to 7,000 pretty much. Low four is one to 3,900 or pretty much 4,000. So funding approval time frames, the higher dollar amount of the loan or line you secure, the longer it will take to underwrite, no matter what type of financing you're applying for. Loans usually take 30 to 90 days or more. Credit lines usually take 30 to 90 days or longer. Advances are very fast. You can get those within seven days or less. Credit cards take three weeks or less. So due diligence checks. All lenders will do a due diligence check on you and your application. They will check if you have other outstanding loans you neglected to mention on your application. They will check to make sure your lease or mortgage is in good standing. They will check if you are going out of business. 
They will even look at your online reputation. They're nosy. <laughs> the purpose of this check is to find hidden risks that they couldn't find on the application. And the other purpose is to see if you left information off the application intentionally. So make sure you disclose everything you are asked to, otherwise lenders will find out about it. These checks usually only take one to three days to complete. So what type of financing should you apply for? So available financing. There's a lot of different financing options available today. There are so many options that you will not know where to start. So let's dive into some available options you have right now that could work best for you. You just have to see which one would best fit you. So your bank. Most business owners try to first apply for financing at their bank, but according to the Department of Revenue, only about 1.1% of all business funding comes from conventional banks such as SBA loans. Your bank can help you with credit lines and loans but you must have financials and good credit for approval. Google SBA loan approval checklist to find this page. It's gonna show you all of the requirements. This list is what you need to get a conventional loan. So there are alternative lending. Most business financing that happens today comes from alternative lenders, not the big banks. These are lenders who have carved out niches in the business finding world. They typically focus on only one aspect of your business to make a lending decision. If that one area of your business is strong, you can get approved even if you are weak in other areas. It's very different from SBA loans that look at the whole picture. And again, we have a list of alternative lenders that we can help you get approved for. Alternative lending is much easier to secure than conventional loan and you can usually get approved and funded much faster. The terms typically aren't as favorable as conventional financing but you can often get approved when your bank will tell you no. Okay so financing based on credit. We have discussed several funding types that are available based on your credit. Some use your business credit for approval, others use personal credit for approval. You can't go into a bank and get multiple business or personal cards, but there are lenders who focus on this type of financing only, and you can get multiple high limit cards that report to the business reporting agencies and have great incentives like low intro rates. Remember, you must have good personal credit or business credit to be approved and even the startup you can be approved so there are financing based collateral or financing based on collateral collateral based lenders are also called asset based lenders they can approve you for money even if you have bad credit and in many cases if you just open up your business the key is that you need acceptable collateral to get approved acceptable collateral includes again 401k and stocks inventory equipment, real estate, purchase orders and accounts receivables, and other viable types of business collateral. Vehicles are depreciated assets and qualify. Rates and terms on collateral based financing are very good, sometimes better than conventional loan. It is not uncommon to get rates of 5% or less even with bad credit. If you default, the lender just takes your collateral so the risk isn't as high as with other types of business funding. Financing based on cash flow. Most advances are forms of cash flow based financing. This is the fastest and easiest money you can get your hands on. You can get approved with bad credit and no collateral, but you will need to show statements that prove you have over $10,000 monthly in deposits for at least six months. You can usually get as much as 12% of your annual revenue advanced to you. So again, these are cash advances. The rates are not great, ranging from eight to 45% depending on the risk. You will usually be approved for a six to 18 month payback. Once you prove yourself with your first advance, terms will get much better on future advances. Therefore, we find that over 70% of those who get their first advance come back and get more money ongoing. 
all right so final thoughts let's wrap this up there's a lot of money available for business owners more now than there was ever before in the past you just need to know what type of financing to go after once you know that you can more easily find what you need make sure you set up your business credibly before applying to have the best chance of getting approved also we offer these types of financing and credit discussed in this video so you can click the link in the description we offer coaching and consulting on that page you're going to see that we have clients who have left video reviews and testimonials so the training and the consulting works you get a financing advisor with that one-time price if you select the one-time price or if you select a payment plan you get support for up to five years even in or even when you're done paying the payment plan you still get your financing advisors business advisors up to five years you get support for five years that is worth a lot of money that's worth tens of thousands of dollars so we're here to help you get loans it's not free the service is not free but we're here to help you get loans business credit financing for your business it comes with training so you get a training platform and software that helps you build business credit along with advisory team and a finance team that you can call monday through friday to get help and consulting so that is it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. Also leave a thumbs up on this video if you have found this video valuable and I will see you in the next video.